nasi mtazamaji wa tamati mtangazaji wetu ishara hii leo ni Byron na Boli. Rais William Ruto ameagiza kwamba asilimia 30 ya nafasi za ajira katika wizara za usalama wa taifa, mazingira na jinsia zitengewe vijana wanaohitimu kutoka shirika la huduma ya vijana kwa taifa NYS. Akizungumza wakati wa sherehe ya kufuzu kwa makuruto shirika hilo huko Gilgil Rais Ruto alisema hatua hiyo itahakikisha uh, makuruto hao ambao hupitia mafunzo kabambe ya miezi kadhaa wanapata nafasi ya kuhudumia taifa katika viwango mbalimbali. Kasika chuo cha mafunzo cha shirika la huduma ya vijana kwa taifa huko Gilgil County ya Nakuru. Wakati umewadia kwa maafisa alfu kumina muja, miasita tisaini na wawili wa shirika la NYS ambao mikuwa kipakea mafunzo kwa mezi kathaa ilio pita hapa kuondoka. Na mtihani wao wa mwisho ni kudhihirisha kwa viongozi wa taifa kwamba hakika wa natoshe mboga. Vijana hawa wakike na wakiume wa mikuwa kipakea mafunzo kwa muda wa mezi sita ilio pita. Na leo ndio siku yao kufuzu na kuondoka kuhudumia taifa katika viwango mbali mbali. Rice au William Ruto aliyeongoza hafla hiyo ya kufuzu alitoa wito kwa Wizara za Serikali kutenga asilimia 30 ya nafasi za kazi kwa vijana wanaohitimu kutoka shirika la NYS ili kuwawezesha kujipatia riziki. This should encourage and motivate many young Kenyans on their path to national service and national productivity. Rais aliahidi kwamba serikali itaongeza maradufu idadi ya vijana wanaojiunga na shirika hilo kutoka 1000 hadi 2020 kila mwaka. We want to double the intake of young people joining the National Youth Service from every location in the Republic of Kenya as a mechanism of creating the sufficient patriotism and giving opportunity to young people in rural areas who otherwise may not have the means or may not have the opportunity to be able to explore their talent and be able to get the necessary training and skills for them to make useful contribution to the development of our country. The National Youth Service has aligned its programs to contribute to the realization of the Kenya Kwanza bottom-up economic transformation agenda in the key five sectors which include agricultural transformation, micro, small and medium enterprise, housing and settlement, healthcare, digital superhighway and creative industry. Halikadhalika Rais alitumia fursa hiyo kusangaza nyongeza ya muda wa kuhudumu kwa jopo kazi ilinalo kadiri ya marikibisho kwenye idara za polisi na magereza iliku jumuisha shirika la NYS kwenye reporti ya kiamusho. I look forward to that report in the next two and a half months so that we can make it possible for the men and women who do this great job get their due regard from the people and the government of the Republic of Kenya. Mungoni imu makurutu haa alfu kumna moja mia sita tisaini na wawili alfu nane mia nene shirini na moja walikuwa wakiume alfu tatu mia mbili sabini na moja wakike na shirini na nane waliwa na ulimavu Kwa zaidi ya mafisa alfu kumna moja wanaofuzu hii leo ombi imekuwa kwamba wazidi kujituma katika kutumikia nchi hii katika nyanja mbali mbali bila uoga au kupendelea Isufar ni kilipotia na rubini kutoka Gilgil, County ya Nakuru